if you cut a lot of spokes, you'll end up with a lot of little uh, spoke nibblers. Spoke nibblers, I don't know what you call them. But uh, the koa conveniently uh, collects them into the bottom of the tray. <laughs> so you don't end up uh, making a big mess all over your floor. <laughs> After you've cut all your spokes to the length you want, the next step is to actually roll them. Now then, the rolling process, if you could come in here a little bit closer. Basically what happens is you have uh, two plate die plates, D-I-E, <clears throat> and as the sliding table goes up, it engages those two plates together and it has a very, very slight taper. So it increasingly squeezes the spoke and rolls it and uh, forms the thread. It actually, it's a rolled thread, it's not a cut thread. And in the process of picking up the spoke, it will pre-engage the threaded portion first so that the spoke is perfectly aligned in the existing threads. So how do we do this? We insert a spoke. There's a little round groove at the bottom end of the die plate or the carrier plate as I call it and that's where we want to put the spoke in. Okay and you want to insert it until it stops. Fair enough. Then use the clamp to just lightly tighten the two plates. It doesn't have to be super tight, just a little bit. Okay. Then stop 